Hey everybody, I am putting this video together to extend a personal invitation uh, to all of you who are watching uh, in this moment. Uh, in one of Jesus' probably most dramatic and memorable moments, he storms into the temple and puts a whip together and he drives out all the money changers. And what does he say in that moment? He, he says very passionately, he says that my father's house will be called a house of prayer. And so we know that, that prayer is something very near and dear to the heart of the Lord. And we have an opportunity to do that every single Saturday morning that we get together for corporate prayer uh, here at the church at Hamilton Mill from 8 a.m. Uh, to 9 a.m. just for one hour to kind of get together with one voice to call out for God's will to be done here on earth as it is in heaven. And we pray for you. We pray for your families. We pray for your, your jobs. We pray for the church, for the community, uh, for the city, nation, and the world. And we pray for all the saints. And uh, we pray for salvation to come to our city. It's, it's amazing. I love our times together on Saturday morning. And what I'm, I'm doing today is I'm extending a personal invitation for all of you to come and be a part of that. Uh, here's the deal. Uh, right now we probably have a core uh, group of faithful people who come out every single Saturday morning, but now we're extend, extending that invitation uh, to you who are watching uh, this video. And I know that uh, most of us, we have a lot going on. We have busy lives. Many of us have probably good reasons why we can't be there on a Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Uh, maybe you work, maybe uh, you have children and uh, need to watch after them. But I'm personally reaching out for those of you who can. Uh, maybe you just say, well, I'm tired on Saturday mornings. Believe me, I am tired on a Saturday morning. I am the, the least likely person who would wake up and come out at 8 a.m. on a Saturday morning. But but I'm extending that to you because it is worth it. And it is worth it to, to cry out for God's will to be done here on earth as it is in heaven. And I'm, I, I'm reaching out. I'm crying out for you to come and be a part uh, with us of what we do on a Saturday morning. And so here's what we're doing. This is kind of a new initiative uh, here at the church, uh, is that once a month, your small group, your V group is going to be on a schedule uh, to come on out and, and be a part of that. You're invited every single week, but specifically your V group is going to be on the schedule to come out once a month. Uh, and, and your small group leader will let you know a little bit more about that. But I invite you to come on out, get to know the people in your small group a little bit more. Uh, maybe you can go out to breakfast with them after. Maybe put together an outreach and go out after. Maybe you can uh, go out after prayer and, and meet up and your families can all uh, have a picnic or go to the park or something like that, uh, make, make, make a, a community building time out of it in addition to praying uh, for God's will to be done here on earth as it is in heaven. And so, uh, again, we're extending this invitation to you. Your V Group leader will let you know when the, when that time comes, when your week is is here. And uh, I'm, I'm excited about this new season that we have of advancing God's will through prayer. So come on out. Uh, uh, let's see what happens as we all join together with one with one voice to see God's will done. And let's see it come to pass that God's house will be called a house of prayer. Let's do it for God's kingdom. Let's do it for the city. Let's see the lost, saved, and revival come. In Jesus' name, amen. You're invited. Let's go.